Hello there. It is really great to see you all again. I sure miss you from last year's Vacation Bible School. And as you know, we're doing it a little different this year. And I love this idea of Compassion Camp. And here I am at the Emmanuel Church of Christ, and you're probably in your homes relaxing. But you know, we're together sitting around this table. And so I want to introduce myself again. I'm Keith. And if you remember me, I'm from Bargetown Road Presbyterian Church, and I really enjoy doing these vacation Bible schools. I've done them for many years, and each year I enjoy them so much. Now today we're going to talk about compassion and action, and we're going to deal with it as we relate it to our neighbors and family and friends. And oh, I just picked up some mail on the way over here, and I just want to sort through it for just a second. Got a magazine. I bet you get magazines too. And here's somebody wanting me to make a donation. They're always asking for money. Well, look at this. This is a letter, and it's addressed to me, and it's from an old friend. I have not seen or talked to this person in a long time. I wonder what he has to say. Well, let me just open it up and share it with you and, and see what's inside. Let's see. Oh, well, here's, here's the letter. Let's see. Dear Keith, that's me. It has been a while since I have written to you, but during these uncertain times, I wanted to check and see how you're doing. It is important that we keep in touch so we share our concerns and joy. How true. I hope you are wearing your face mask and social distancing to stay healthy. And when all this passes, let's plan to get together like we used to do. Say hello to your whole family from me, and I really wish them well. Remember to keep a positive attitude, for we will get through these uncertain times with God's guidance. Well, isn't that a lovely letter? Boy, I'm going to treasure that. I think I'm going to return a letter. I'm going to write a letter back to him. This is truly an act of compassion. He's sharing his friendship, his concern, and providing me with some encouragement. You know, there's been lots of examples of letters written in our history. If we remember the Apostle Paul, he traveled all over the Holy Lands, and he visited many, many people. And so during his time, he wrote these letters. In the Bible, they call them epistles, which are long letters that he wrote. And he wrote them to many people, giving them encouragement, guidance, and instruction. And so there were people like the Romans, and the Corinthians, and the Galatians, and the Ephesians, and Timothy, and many other people he communicated with by these long letters. And you know, these became books, which are a big part of our New Testament in our Bible. Another person who wrote a very important letter was Martin Luther King. He was a great African-American who really promoted social justice. And back in 1963, for participating in nonviolent demonstrations against segregation, he was put in a jail in Birmingham. And so during that time, he wrote a letter to several clergy, several ministers who were critical of him for moving too fast and questioned what he was doing. But in that wonderful letter, he made a justification for how important it was to get out there and protest in a peaceful way and not to put it off because time was of the essence. When I was a little boy, yes, I was a little boy a long time ago, we had a thing called pen pals. And that was a great arrangement where you would write to someone and this other person would usually be in another country. And so we would exchange these letters back and forth, learning about our different cultures. So these are just some of the letters that I want to share with you. But you know, today, we don't write quite as many letters as we used to. With social technology, you know, with emails and texting, it's almost become a lost art. But it is truly an act of, cac of compassion. And so I'm going to really encourage you to write a letter to someone that you know, and then we can put it in the mail, and they can receive this wonderful act of love from you. So let's think about some of the people that we could write a letter to. You know, our church has been closed for a long time, and next Sunday it's going to open up for a Sunday service. But there's been a lot of people in my church that I haven't seen. 
So I thought, you know, it might be good just to communicate with somebody in your church. Maybe another youth in your church that you haven't seen from youth group. But you know who would really appreciate a letter a whole lot? It would be your minister. I bet Reverend Rachel or Reverend Mark would really appreciate a letter because they have been working so hard to keep the church running and waiting for that important time when we can all come back together again. How about somebody in your family? Now, there are older people in your family, like your uncles and your aunts and your grandparents, that really can't get out as much because they have to be extra careful to stay healthy. And so, being staying at home, you might have missed seeing them sometimes. So, if you could write a letter to them of encouragement and love, that would make their day feel so much better. And then there are people who are working all around us. Just think of the mailman who comes to your house six days out of the week, delivering mail like I got today. And you know, just slip a little note to him to appreciate, no matter what the weather is, he's delivering the mail to you. Or how about the time you go to the grocery store with mom and dad, and you're at the checkout, and there's that fellow helping you buy the food that you need every day. And so if you slip the note to that person, that would really be appreciated. Or how about your teacher? You know, last year came to a sudden end when all the classes stopped and your teacher provided you with information through the mail and on your computer so you could finish up that semester. And they really worked hard to do that during those tough times. So I bet a letter to your teacher from the last semester would really be appreciated. So these are just some of the other people that we can contact. You know, even the people who work in hospitals, the doctors, the nurses, the aides, they are all really putting their life on the line because they have to take care of sick people with the virus. And so they are taking chances. So we really need, if you know someone in your family that works in the medicine field, that would be so important to let them know that you care for them with a letter. Even our politicians, you know, we have a mayor, Greg Fisher, who is trying so hard to keep our city in sort of good economical times and to keep people safe. He deserves a lot of credit. And don't forget our mayor, Andy Bashir. He has done so much talking to us with his weekly programs and how we can stay safe from the virus. And so we need to listen to what he says because really our state of Kentucky is doing fairly well compared to other states across the country. So if I inspired you to write a letter, I hope so. Because what I would like to do is for you to go into your purple bag where your packet is and inside you will find this sheet. And on this sheet, these are two forms to use to write your letter. And what you do, you take your scissors and cut this in half so that you have two sheets. And one sheet says, dear, and this could be to someone you care and love. And another says, thank you. And this could be to someone that you really want to give thanks for because they've been working hard to keep you healthy and looking after you. Now, what I did on this one, because it has this fancy design around the edge, I took some colored pencils and I made it real pretty. But you know, the most important thing is what you say in the middle and what kind of words of encouragement and love and care you can tell them to keep them happy, to make them feel good. Because by doing this simple act, you are showing God's love to them. So I hope I can encourage you to write a letter. And there's so many people we've talked about that would love to receive a letter from you. And I will check with you someday, I hope maybe in next year's Vacation Bible School, when we can all be back together in a normal situation. So I want you to enjoy the rest of your day at Compassion Camp, and don't forget to write that letter of compassion. Bye-bye.